and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Is It Drakes, our next deck on our Rotation Proof Monday series. This is where we build the decks with rotation in mind. Rotation is happening in about five weeks or so whenever Throne of Eldraine releases on Arena. Then Standard will only consist of the four sets, the, the previous four sets that we just had, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Core Set 2020, and Throne of Eldraine. So we'll just have those five total sets in Standard. So the, the previous four that are also in Standard right now will all be rotating out. So we are only using cards from the latter four sets that will still be in Standard. So if you're looking to get into uh, Magic right now and want to build a deck, uh, but you don't want to spend wild cards on cards that are rotating out, that's what, that's what these Mondays are for. We're building rotation-proof decks. They're not necessarily the best of decks. You know, like, don't expect to go, like, win a tournament with these decks. Um, but they're still pretty good. They're definitely competitive. And that's that's really what you want right now, is you want some competitive magic for the next few weeks before rotation. So uh, I am building, like, a deck of each guild. That's, like, one thing that I'm doing with them. This is um, an Is It deck here. Calling this Is It Drakes because it has some... Real similarities to the Is It Drake deck that was popular after Guilds of Ravnica <clears throat> that had Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake in it and was updated with uh, Terramander whenever Ravnica Allegiance came out as well. Um, but Enigma Drake is leaving the format. We're not using that. Instead, we have some other really big, good flyers here. God Eternal Kefnet. Cavalier of Gales, and those two work really well together, Kefnet and Cavalier of Gales, because you can put, you get to put cards back on top of your library, so you can put something that you get to reveal off of Kefnet. So I'm excited to have that combination there. Um, <clears throat> besides that, we got a lot of cheap removal. We got four shock, four lava coil, a couple flame sweeps as well, so a lot of cheap removal. Some card draw. We don't have a ton. <clears throat> that's one thing that's that's leaving from the Is It Guild is. Opt is a, a big card that's leaving, a really important spell, but uh, same with Chart, of course. So we have Discovery for our uh, kind of card selection spell here. You know, one in a blue, Surveil 2, draw a card. At times, we could cast the Dispersal. We're not expecting to cast Dispersal very often, but we could because we have one Watery Grave and one Blood Crypt in here to help cast Dispersal if need be. But we won't expect to do that very often. Um, but it, you know, it's just, it's just a replace itself. It's not really raw card advantage. It's just card selection. So for card advantage, we have a couple winged words in here. That's a draw two, three mana for a draw two is not great, but we do have a, a decent amount of flyers in here. that can make it cost two mana, two mana draw two much, much better. Besides that, we have some spicy Top end cards, expansion, explosion, especially that explosion part could be something that could be really good to reveal off of Kefnet. Uh, we got a couple of drawn from dreams, works really well with Kefnet, of course, um, but it's a good, really good card selection and card advantage card. And then two planeswalkers at the top end. Rao, the, Rao can act as removal for bigger creatures that you know lava coil doesn't kill if we if we can like fill our graveyard. Um, with a bunch of spells so that minus three can kill some big big stuff and also just you know gets us that card advantage with the plus one um, it's the very generic five mana planeswalker five loyalty plus one minus three that we all know and love and then we have the awakened inferno that gets to just kind of do everything add in some counter spells and we got a deck um, sideboard wise got another awakened inferno for control for Nexus, all that kind of stuff. Got a mass manipulation for control matchups to you know maybe steal some planeswalkers. Uh, don't have great planeswalker re removal in the is it colors in general, but one of our best ones is Fry because a lot of the the planeswalker decks are like Teferi decks where Fry, Fry can help us out there. Aether Gust is like our card against like the aggro decks or the green creatures that are too big for our lava coils. Kind of does some double duty there, so I'm like an Ether Gust in the side where we got three copies, uh, a couple more fries. Narset keep our opponents from drawing multiple cards against control. So that's our deck. So a lot of cool little stuff in here. Um, let's give this a try. Let's see how it works. 
Is it Drake's? Or is it Dancer? All right, with our rotation-proof decks, we like playing through a league. Seeing how we do. Seeing if we can get up to five wins before we get two losses. Our opponents, of course, are playing cards from... Cards that are legal completely in standard right now from all the sets. So we're a little bit behind because we're playing uh, cards from just the last four sets. Okay. Looks like a pretty good hand to keep. That's that's definitely fair there, Fat DB. Saying that for rotation proof Monday, I should only use rares and mythics that are that are rotating out, only not use them, and still use, um, still use commons and uncommons that are rotating out. I know some people kind of struggle a little bit with the uncommons at times. All right, so I waited a turn on the Skyland. I, I led with the Swift Water Cliffs because our our hand already looked pretty good. And we don't exactly know what our opponent's doing over there. So, like, you know, maybe they're playing a creature deck where I want to scry a removal spell. Or maybe they're, you know, playing a, a, a spell-heavy deck where I want to get rid of the removal spell. All right, we'll punish for not keeping the negate. <laughs> What's up, negate? Thanks for joining in here. Yeah, having negate for Soren would have been nice, but I also just wanted more removal. Like, I thought it was more important to look for more removal for vampires. I thought it was a lot more likely that they would have a lot of vampires than have a Soren, but it looks like they just have a Soren and not a lot of vampires. What's up, Orisonic? Thanks for that resub there. Our sub count is up to six on the day, four away from our sub goal. So it looks like they got Soren in removal, which is good for our Ral. Uh, ooh, let's see what we got. Ral doesn't die to removal. Well, creature removal, like mortify and cast down. Yeah, Dive Down was from Ixalan. That is rotating out. Really? It just had Sanctum Seeker and Champion of Dusk? They just haven't been playing either of them? Ooh. Talk about a really good one. Time to choose. So I can just go Lava Coil Expansion Copy It here. And then, what, play the Temple? It's either like shock in to have a shock land up, or shock in to, shock in to have negate up, but that doesn't seem too necessary. So let's play this temple. Hmm. We're getting to the point of the game where I think that could be pretty good. Yeah, so how do you list a donation deck? The easiest way to do that is to just put it on a, a third-party site. Like, here, I'll like send you a, a link here. But, yeah, just... just So, yeah, you just have to, you know, like, ex export your list from Arena or, you know, just, you know, put put your deck list on a, on a site like that. And then, and then, yeah, it's just a $20 donation through the donation link. Um, let me know what day you want me to play your deck, what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth. All of those things. Let's... Alright, so we're going to Crackling Drake with Negate back. And I'm just going to be killing the Conquistador this with Ral. And so, yeah, so that's all, all you got to do. All 
All right, game one worked. Deck is perfect. <laughs> we won one game. Soren's a problem. We don't really have removal for Soren. I kind of want to play this mass manipulation. Could steal Soren. It costs a lot of mana though. Hey. Yeah, is it is confirmed better than the best deck in standard? Absolutely. I mean, it certainly helped that they didn't do anything for a long time. Welcome, Sin Christ. Thank you so much there, 619. Yeah, Adanto Vanguard is is pretty auto lose. Um Good thing is Adanto Vanguard's rotating. So yeah, we, we lose to a card that rotates. Kind of like the Selesnya deck loses to Scape Shift. This deck's going to lose to Adanto Vanguard. Just kind of how it is. I, You know, we have like manipulation is like my only real answer there. It's not a very good answer either. Yeah, if they have Adanto Vanguard and Soren, that is a huge problem for sure. What if we take out counter spells? Try this. Yeah, we have we have yeah we have larger creatures that can block it. We have four and five toughness creatures that can block it. But if they have Soren to go along with Adanto to pump up the Adanto Vanguard, then that's Church. <clears throat> I'm gonna be shocking that anyway. It's not like I need to like wait. That's what we want to see. We want to see other one drops. It's not bad. Just a draw two next turn. Or if we need to shock, we go shock discovery. If we don't, we just winged words, draw two. They have Gideon? Oh, I did not bring in Fry. Your champion of justice. Your light will cleave the darkness. I didn't bring in Fry. Yeah, Charter Charter Course is rotating. I believe in you. Lava coil. Doesn't look great for us. Not looking good for the home team. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, I'm glad Antonio Brown's not on, on my Steelers anymore. Ugh. Well, I wish I would have shocked the Gideon. The Gideon's not gonna lose loyalty. No, because the, the damage is prevented. It doesn't lose loyalty counters. But honestly, like, I feel bad for Antonio Brown, to be honest. I really think that um, he had that concussion against Cincinnati a couple of years ago, and, and this basically all this kind of drama stuff and all, the, all his diva stuff has happened ever since then. And I, I honestly think that he got hit so hard, and I, I honestly think that there could be something just wrong with his brain ever since that collision. 
And so I actually, I just feel bad for him. Football's such a violent sport. And I, I don't know if people recognize that enough. So I should have shocked Gideon before. Gideon could be at five now instead of seven, where the Terramander would be attacking the Gideon for lethal. I was hoping to do that the next turn. So I could play a couple of fries for Gideon. They're basically just for Gideon though, because the fries don't kill anything else. I'll play a fry over a drawn from dreams. Maybe I'll play an extra Sh big Chandra over that. Because drawn is kind of slow, and this this is not a matchup where we can really afford to be slow. I taught geometry. No, I don't think the, the not wearing proper footwear thing was part of his concussion, but just like the his drama issues that he had as far as like leaving the the Steelers and everything of of him wanting to be or his, his like I don't know his attitude of do I scry no we'll way to turn before scrying no just like his his general attitude of um, needing everything to be about him and, and, you know, basically acting like he doesn't, he's, doesn't get the recognition, recognition he deserves, all that kind of stuff. But he was never, he wasn't, that wasn't like the kind of player he was before that concussion. It seemed like his attitude completely changed. That is our downfall right there. Their downfall. Danto Vanguard. We got some blockers. As long as they don't have Soren, we're like we're fine. As long as they don't have Soren, we can block with the Kurt, with the Drakes. Um. Yeah, I'll still just play another Drake here. We may draw like expansion to be able to copy coil. Hmm. Just pumping up my drakes for me.
Cavalier is a good one. So doing it like this. Hmm. If they have removal for Cavalier, I'm gonna want both of these back. Let's say no attacks for now. Doing it like this, I want I don't want them to be able to duress away lava coil. So I want to have lava coil on top. Yeah, they didn't have Soren to, to pump this Vanguard, so. And we drew a million Crackling Drakes. Also. That certainly helped. Okay. So I was thinking, so like we could attack for 13 there. Uh, by pumping that that thing. All right, one and zero. Oh. Is it Drake's? <laughs> Drake still got it. Still got it. Flame Cavalier in the sideboard. I think for like the matchups that you'd want Flame Cavalier, you probably just want another uh, Planeswalker instead. You know, like a like a Ral, for example. This hand looked a lot better when I thought we had an island. I thought the negate was an island. And I was like, yeah, okay, this, this is fine. We can keep that. Speaking of islands. Vampires again. Go get him, Terramander. <laughs> oh, it's not vampires. There's probably a better Lava Coil target than that thing. Like, they're probably gonna play, like, Judith here. That would rather Coil. Or Tajik. Let's let's now coil the Fireblade Artist. To coil this thing now. Okay, Crackling Drake, we're gonna need you to do a lot of work for us. Well, one four flyer, gonna need you to block. Be kind of tough to win. This is gonna be pretty tough to win. Does not make the my life easier. Really? They don't want to just like kill me? Okay. Alright. 
No. Oh, no. Don't be a bug. Don't just keep doing this. I was trying to concede. Okay. Good. We don't have that sound effect thing. Continuing on. All right. Ether Gust. Flame Sweep. Do we think we want... Do we need a side of fries with our drakes? What are we thinking there? Like, are we going combo meal, or are we going just the drakes? Well, they, they played white mana, so assuming they're like hero precinct one. We saw Tajik also, so like hero, Tajik, probably stuff like that. Keep it on a diet. All right, so no fries. All right. Uh, let's see if we're going to lose to some janky mess. <laughs> it's a cool username. All right, I, I like say like it's nice to save these temples until you know what you need to draw, but we already know that we can't really afford more lands. So we can start with the Temple of Epiphany. What cool art on this temple. Spell. We have been doing a pretty bad job of like of of actually casting our our temples or like sequencing our temples here recently though cuz like temples like scrying the card that we want to the top and then we draw like some crappy card afterwards or the other way around here a couple of times poor opponent they mold a five and then we just three for one them immediately. And game over. Thanks for playing. Without having like opt and chart a course, our Crackling Drake game has certainly gone down but it's still just such a strong card even if you know it, it's harder to get that power up on it That was a very good mold of five hand. Hero into I mean that's that's London Mulligan though, like you're gonna have a respectable hand, but yeah, hero into hero plus one drop into Tajik. That was a very good uh to five hand. I think I actually kinda want Chandra over Ral, even though Chandra costs an extra mana. Because Chandra can exile, which can be really important, and can also do that whole minus three thing. That's pretty cool. You know that whole bit. Let's let's get a fry in here instead of this expansion. All right, one singular fry. Yeah, opt's rotating. So that's why that's what I'm saying. Like opt and chart of course. Those are cards that are rotating. They're cards from Mixalon. 
so we don't get them. I'm definitely happy that they have a lot of two toughness creatures with our four flame sweep deck over here. Hey, we got good value out of our temple. Look at that. Ship it to the bottom. And then we draw a Crackling Drake instead. A lot better card to draw. Feel bad for our opponent with their three color deck with this mana base. Do they have the make all their creatures indestructible card? Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Good intervention there. Yeah, they yeah, they they have they have a budget mana base over here for sure. Man, we have just been drawing so many crackling drakes. It's like I named the deck after the card or something. Either guest. Either Gus doesn't get rid of that. I don't think we're rid of Sarah. Sarah for the skills. So I could Dispersal. Let's get another Flyer in play first, though. Will they ping the Sarah for me? No, they didn't ping the Seraph. All right, Kefnet, one for one. Yeah, why not? Okay, so next turn we'll go Dispersal. And 
then attack with a bunch of things. Vigilant. Am I dead? Can I take four? Should I block with Crackling Drake and then Ether Gust my Crackling Drake back to the top of my library? Cannot gust Sarah for the scales. All right, we're at six. I'm gonna play it safer and not just play flame sweep. Not go to five. Yeah, ether gust is only red, red and green stuff. I know I, I know I could have shocked in for the flame sweep to attack for lethal, but I am pretty positive that I'm killing my opponent anyway, and I don't I don't think they have a four damage instant speed burn spell, but I, I didn't want to risk it because they're just they're just dead anyway. I don't, I don't know what, that's, I was, you know, that's why I was kind of taking my time a little bit there. I was like trying to think, like, what, what are they going to have there to kill me? But I didn't want to risk it. Like, we were going to be killing them. So, yeah, I, I do realize that I could have shocked in for Flame Sweep. For the extra three points for the Crackling Drakes. This is the tough part before knowing what they're, you know, knowing what they're doing. Like maybe I really want flame sweep, maybe flame sweep's a dead card. Like let's say like flame sweep was like the scry here, right? Like we're looking at it and it's like scry top, scry bottom. Like I'd probably be willing to put it on the bottom. I mean, you know, obviously we could do the same thing with sinister sabotage. I get rid of winged words. There's not gonna have very many cards. How about we just get rid of shock? Let's just do that. Let's just keep our three drops. If they're playing creatures, we got that. If they're playing spells, we got that. We also have this thing. You're off today, not sure what to do? Come on over, boot. It's just a four hour drive. I'll be done streaming by the time we get here. We'll like play some video games. Yeah, <laughs> just a four hour drive. 
Do you have your helicopter license yet? All right, slowing him down. And I, I wanted that surveil. I wanted to look for something. I probably, I really should have, should have just played Winged Words the, the last turn. Yeah, I should have just played the Winged Words the previous turn instead of holding up Sabotage, but it's kind of priced into it. Hundred and fifty hours into emblem now. I'm, a, I'm like approaching fifteen hours. Mm. That's fine. I'm gonna want more cards. <clears throat> so we're gonna awaken Inferno, kill the deputy, get our Drake back next turn. Hopefully they can't kill my Crackling Drake to kill Chandra. Or just remove Crackling Drake, that is. I Obviously they can, though. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm sorry. More cards. So even if they have instant speed scape shift next turn, like we'll, we should be able to kill the Teferi and then be able to have the, the flame sweep available. I do got to get rid of Golos so they don't, they're not able to just activate Golos a bunch. They Thankfully, they're red mana short here right now. protect you glad we kept the flame sweep over the shock though I'm glad that we kept the cards that we did Jeez. Uh, well life gets harder I could just explosion for three to kill Teferi. I don't know how we're dealing with the 6-6, six, six, though. If we do that. Um, get rid of this. And... This. This is kind of a cool combination. Cavalier Thorn or Cavalier Gales back some lands that we don't want and then surveil them both over with Discovery. Get more lands though. Dang, it's just all lands. I'm still. I'm one man short from killing Hydro Crisis next turn with Explosion. I could kill. Golos, though. I 
If they attack out, I can like double block Krasis. Um, which I guess that wasn't the best time for a Temple of Epiphany anyway. Because if the Cavalier dies, we're just going to shuffle and scry two. So maybe I should have played the gain life land last turn. I've got time. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. Here we go. This Teferi Time Raveler card is pretty good. I don't know if you all have seen it before. It's pretty good. Yeah, watch watch out for this card. Card's card's good. It's only a matter of time. I wish Flame Sweep plus Shock would kill one of these big creatures. I wish Flame Sweep plus Shock would kill Golos. There's not a very good anti scape shift setup that's rotating. That's not rotating, sorry. That's an anti scape shift setup that's not rotating. There's not a lot there. Hey, Caddy Wampus. Um, yeah, I don't know what the best stuff is. Like, like Blood Sun is really what you need. Uh, 
Um, Unmoored Ego. Never mind. That's that's the card. Unmoored Ego. Unmoored Ego. That one's not rotating. Never mind. Sorry. Unmoored Ego does not rotate. That's the best thing. All right, we could shuffle those lands away. Unfortunately, that flame sweep's not going to be enough because we've not been able to pressure hard enough with these drakes. Time Raveler. Such a beating. You're playing four and five mana creatures. Such a beating. We can get fries in here for them, but the damage is still kind of already done. Ether Gust can be like kind of crappy negate against green spells. You know, like their stuff like Elvish Rejuvenator. You just put it back on top of their library to slow them down a little bit. Same with Scape Shift, I guess. Hmm. Okay. All right, Oslin. That sounds good. Um, run out of time. Ashiok only stops the card scape shift. And the card circuitous route, but it doesn't really stop their deck at all. It's not a very good answer. It's, I mean, it's better than a lot of stuff, but it's not reliable. You talked about before when I played the, when I was playing mono black, I had Ashiox because you know it was just mono black. That's what I had. But uh, I, I did win a game against Scape Drift when I played. Um. Ashiok and it was the very first time it was like my you know sixth seventh eighth ninth something like that game of playing Ashiok against the scape shift deck and I've only won one time ever so Ashiok not something to rely on I'll cast that next turn Uh, 
Oh, come on. Let me get to Kefnet next turn. This card is so, so good. Dang, no Kefnet. That's a time where if we were playing, you know, the normal the normal duel that we would be playing, our life would be a little better. But who knows, maybe they have like something that we really want to counter instead. So I want to leave the sabotage because I could ca counter like Golos or something else like that. And I guess if I would have played Kefnet, Teferi would have just bounced my Kefnet. And they'd still have the Dovin's Veto to protect Teferi. I guess they can't down. protect it from Fry. Let's try this. Um, just realize, like, my plan here was, like, to take, to do that, and then Fry, next turn, Fry kill Teferi and have Flame Sweep, but, I guess Fry doesn't actually kill Teferi. Okay, now Fry kills Teferi. Now the plan's working. The biggest problem with Kefnet, of course, right now is the Teferi Time Raveler. Just shuts down Kefnet so hard. You know, whether it's bouncing it, uh, we don't get to use Kefnet's ability whenever Teferi's in play. I'm going to try to attack Teferi with the Kefnet here instead of using the Fry immediately. Yeah, this is Rotation Proof Monday, so we are playing only cards that do not rotate out so that's why we do not that's have blood sun like it. it would be very nice to have blood sun but that card's rotating out i'm known for my excellent timing so we did just have another bad idea to fairy worst case scenario So I have to kill that thing, and I have to just pass turn. At least they don't get to scape shift now, so we can play Kefnet. So they don't get to scape shift. Got 
They're playing Nexus also. Boo. Hey, Chronic Slayer. They know all these cards are rotating out. Elvis Rejuvenator. Trust me. You'll thank me Nexus. Later. Escape Shift. Trust me. I have a plan. No, I'm not going to trust you. Stop saying. Stop telling me to trust you because I'm not going to do it. Not trusting you at all, Teferi. Forget that. Only time. Gotta run out of that card eventually. I should just be activating Arch of Arazka here. Because this is the most obvious flame sweep ever. So. Because, like, I have to flame sweep. I can't really even counter that. So, I guess since I can't counter it and I have to flame sweep, my opponent does know that they get to put, you know, like a whole bunch more Field of the Dead so that, like, every single land drop I have to, like, flame sweep. So, we are, we are really dead. I mean, if they have a Dovin's Veto, I'm even more dead. Yeah, Niv Mizzet, unfortunately, yeah, playing the other six drops instead of Niv Mizzet. So unfortunately, Niv Mizzet is also just not not good in a world of Teferi. Fortunately, they, they printed that Teferi Time Raveler card, which made it kind of impossible to play Niv-Mizzet. All right, two and one. No, I said Teferi Time Raveler. GG's Raise. Yeah, my deck is really, really bad against Teferi, and you just had so many of them. I couldn't handle it. And we're doing rotation proof Monday here, so I don't have any like blood suns or anything like that to help me. Yeah, uh, blue white flyers rotation proof. That is that is a deck that I'll, I'll probably be playing making for next Monday. In fact, I'll I'll make a note of that. Um, that was definitely one that I've been thinking about. May have that for next Monday. So I've been making like a a uh, deck for each guild, and that was the the deck for the guild for the Azorius guild I was thinking of. I played, if you missed it, I played Boros Feather last week with no Reckless Rage. So you can check that out. 
Um, there's there's a playlist with all the rotation proof decks. So yeah, go to the rotation proof deck playlist. You can kind of see all those there. Good old zero fours. All right, definitely taking a coil. I take this expansion. I could see my opponent having Nickel Bolas Ravager, and maybe we want to like coil plus expansion it, I, like be able to coil both things. We can also expansion copy drawn from dreams, which is pretty gas. The big problem with Nickel Bolas, the Ravager, is I don't really have anything that I want to discard right now. Because I want to keep Shock because if they have Nickel Bolas Dragon God and kill Crackling Drake with a minus, then I'm going to want to Shock the Dragon God. I consider just playing the Cavalier Gales and just blocking their 1-3 death touch with Cavalier Gales, honestly. That was four spells they milled over. They should be drawing some lands here. Do a big, big refill. Let's get Chandra and other Cavalier. And a Temple, so we can hit Land Drop still. And Kefnet. May have just taken too many expensive cards. We'll kind of see. Yeah, I want the land. Yeah, look at 20 cards, pick four of them. It's a nice combo. That's a, it's a certain, re that's a, that's certainly a refill combo. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be conceivable. Smarted you eons ago. Stay back. All right, I'm I'm kind of relying on my opponent not having another Nickel Bolas Ravager. If they do, I'm in trouble. You're going to be sorry when I come back. I'm in trouble. Mortality suits me well. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. 
Alright, looking for another land so we get to play Kefnet also. Alright, and then I want to reveal Discovery or Coil? Probably Coil. I'm gonna exile the swift water cliffs to the if they tick up Dragon God. I like our mana base here. Three temples, three mountains, three islands. Good mana base. Not gonna let some little burn spell kill my creatures. Well, I guess them the minusing and killing the Cavalier Gales is kind of a problem for me. Hmm. That is kind of a problem. Maybe I should have put I guess I should have put back the cliffs and kept the discovery. I still like the lava coil being there, but I think I should have done it that way. I have other schemes to attend to. My intellect is without limit. Okay, it worked out. Everything worked out. I will return one day. Sure you will. So I have the two options. I can I can like put back the two lands and then surveil them both over. So we just dig farther. Or I just keep the discovery, put the lava coil back for the butcher. Let's do this. Like surveilling the lands. All right. Yeah, Cavalier Gale's Kefnet's pretty sweet. So Ether Gust does slow down, does slow them down. You know, Dreadhorde Butcher, but then of course both Nicol Boluses. Um, this kills both Nicol Boluses as well. I want these. This kill. They have that one three also. Let's get those. We'll get some fries. We'll manipulate. Don't think I want flame sweeps. Still gonna keep the shock and coils. Get this thing in here. Hmm. Maybe just cut Terramander. I don't know, Terramander blocking that 1-1 one, one butcher was nice. Expecting them to have you know, more spells post sideboard. I'm expecting the gate to be better. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna put in a second sabotage instead of having the second negate. Because they still have like some creatures I really want to counter.
Why do we have to go to five cards? I liked that. I liked those seven. I wanted to keep all of them. Yeah, rotation happens when the next set, Throne of Eldraine, releases on Arena, which is in approximately five weeks. So yeah, late September. So yeah, still still a good amount of time before that. Wish I would have kept Crackling Drake instead of Winged Words about now. I do not want to see Nickel Bulls the Ravager. Please, no other, no nickel boluses, please. Good. They didn't have triple black anyway for Dragon God. It's kind of weird that they let me draw my card first. Just one other card in hand. This is looking pretty good for us. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Yeah, that's an okay okay card on top. <sighs> I kinda crashed and burned here. Drake. So they have, you know, the like Ravager that makes us discard a card. We just should just play the land. Plus we have Kefnet that, you know, could reveal something that costs a lot of mana kind of thing. That was a really good mill over for them. Three lands and a Thought Erasure. Just four dead cards they milled over. That was a great mill over for them. Last time it was a pretty bad one. This this time it was a great one. Will resonate. My revenge will be painful. This one's going to be pretty close. I don't even know if I should be keeping the sabotage. To be honest. Oh, 
Alliances and fury witness a moat. They just like kill my Kefnet here. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. I don't hate that trade. You'll probably just go upstairs with this, right? Hooray! Yeah, that was a shockingly good draw step. I agree. Alright, is it Drake's? Feeling pretty good. Three and one with it. Drake deck doing pretty good. It's been pretty fun to play too. It's been pretty fun to play. So we don't get to turn one Terramander because of the Swift Water. We got, we're going to definitely play that on turn one because we want a Discovery on turn two. However, not turn one Terramandering really isn't that bad of a thing since we got the Sweeper in here anyway. So like we're going to want the Terramander later on. No, escape shift again. This is our downfall last time. Maybe they won't have that time waster. Maybe they won't. So you have a couple of lands. We need lands, I mean... Obviously, we need another blue source for the Cavalier, so getting double mountain isn't spectacular there, but we're not in a position to mulligan lands. Okay, Storm, have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Not, we're not in like a great spot here because we don't have more land drops to hit. Casting Drawn from Dreams just means I have to go to discard. So it doesn't really make sense to cast it. Yeah, Cavalcade Red's pretty good and very cheap. We didn't play against the two top decks of the format. We didn't play against Vampires or Escape, or escape Shift. But I think, right? We didn't play against Escape Shift, right? Maybe we did. Actually, maybe we did play against Escape Shift. I don't remember. OK, 
Cavalcade doesn't just get wrecked by the sweepers, I wouldn't say. Because, you know, like your best card is Chandra Acolyte of Flame, just kind of in general, it's your best card, and that doesn't. That's not hurt by sweepers. So it's not a blue land. I'm going to look for a blue land here. I really want to play the Cavalier of Gales. Hmm. I can't really just keep taking turns off dreaming. The longer this game goes, the more we're likely we are to die. Like, we have to end the game fast. I, I don't think we can take more time for Drawn from Wait. Dreams. Don't worry. I got this. Because, like, we'll get overrun eventually, even after casting two flame sweeps, if we don't get to put them on a clock. So that's why I want these, all these flyers that are clocks. We have to put two cards back that we wouldn't really mind not playing, because if the Cavalier dies, we don't get to play him. And I think that's Steam Vent's Winged Words. It's definitely Steam Vent's. Uh, maybe Vent's Terramander. No, yeah, Vent's, Vent's Word. Schedule. Yes, my my deck's bad against Time Raveler. Can you stop playing this card? So we've played three games against the Scapeshift deck. So far they've played eight Teferis in three games. Uh, such a beating. Oh yeah, Kefnet doesn't do anything with the Time Raveler. So that digs us towards like another shock to kill Teferi, potentially.
and can put two threats out there. Now we get to put a third threat out there. Might be a bad idea. Just never run out of this card. Stand by and watch. Never run out of this card. Ever. I'll protect you. Just never stops. So we're going to have to flame sweep here. Ugh. Would have really liked to draw like a shock. Shock we could have shocked and double activated Terramander and flame sweeped. Should have seen that coming. Oh, I forgot about Blast Zone. Man, Blast Zone's messed up. All right, I guess I guess we're just not gonna worry about these Terramanders. Ugh. Oh right, Sweep doesn't kill our Flyers. I I completely forgot about that, honestly. Except. For creatures you control with flying. Man, I've been so worried about how to keep my Terramanders alive. And yeah, I should I should have just played this Terramander, like played one of them a very long time ago. Yeah, I was just wow. I played this this whole game really wrong. I could have played a Terramander on like, you know, turn two or something. Completely forgot about that part. Um, I don't really want to draw another Kefnet. Yeah, I completely forgot about that part of the card. Sorry, later 619. Sorry, you probably already left. I just saw your message there. All right, we're going to set up set up Kefnet here. Alright, 
Um, so I'm gonna go flame sweep steam vents. I'm gonna go flame sweep second. Because I don't, I don't think I want flame sweep for this draw step, but I think I want it for the next draw step. And so I don't really want a discovery. Oh, punished. I guess I need it for that for that first draw step. Dang it. Need it for the first one. So I didn't want to double up on discovery because then if I do that, then I just get the flame sweep and I move the flame sweep. So that's the problem with doubling up on discovery. Because, so yeah, so I, yeah, I mean, I, I can get the flame sweep again, but we just don't get to double cast it. So we only get to cast one flame sweep here instead of getting able to, being able to cast two flame sweeps. But one's probably all we're going to need anyway, though. Because we're attacking them for nine. We're putting another... Like 12 power out on the battlefield. Like, unless they have another removal spell for. Crackling Drake, I guess. Obviously, they just put their card on top really fast. I'm telling y'all, that's how it always goes. It's always scape shift, put a whole bunch of lands in play. And it's always. One scry land, scry to the top immediately. I, so I can shock to play discovery this turn. And, you know, be able to go Discovery and Flame Sweep. We do. We have a lot of mana. We can probably wait for the Discovery and not Shock. I should just cast this thing. They're not going to play anything else before combat. I don't know. Maybe they have one random counter spell. I guess I should just play it. They're not going to just, like, play land then go to combat. I mean, they may, but... Yeah, yeah, we get to adapt here. So, like, we really only saved one mana. Like, if, if I would have, you know, shocked into Discovery, we still would have had to pay one to adapt, so we're really just only saving one mana. But I have more information about the Discovery. Alright, they did have removal for Drake and another scape shift, so I have to This is like the the worst case scenario, so I, I have to kill them this turn, so I have to draw a shock. I think shock's my only out. I don't have any more flame sweeps in the main, I only have those two. We've already seen one shock. So we need so there's only there's two other so there's three other shocks in the deck, we've seen one. We got 33 cards, The so one out of 11 is 9%, so we got a 9% shot of drawing shock, and then we have three more looks. So we have like a 9%er four times, but that 9% goes up a little bit each time.
But if I if I would have revealed, I mean, if I would have put the flame sweep on top, we would have been able to have that extra flame sweep here. All right, well, now we're at 10%, three out of 10. We have three looks at 10% or better. We are now 100%. So close. Barely. 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 Okay, can we steal a cyborg game? They had so many. I guess I had Chandra Awaken Inferno as an out, also, of just drawing Awaken Inferno and minus three. I forgot about Awaken Inferno, so we actually had four cards that were outs there. I'm kind of thinking of playing Narset to stop Krasis from drawing a bunch of cards. So I'm playing Narset, I'm not going to be playing Winged Words then. Well, Summoner's Cop... Or, sorry, not so, but Smuggler's Copter was banned before Heart of Kirin was printed. So that, that statement of they only started playing Heart of Kirin after it was banned was because, well, like... It wasn't printed yet. If I'm remembering right, because, yeah, yeah, because Fatal Push and, and Hard Kirin were both in Ether Revolt, because Copter was never played with Fatal Push. Like, they started print, printing a bunch of cards that were good against Copter, or at least, you know, efficient removal for Copter, like Fatal Push, after they banned it. That's a very quick banning. I mean, I should probably keep both of these. I'm gonna need hit. I'm gonna need to keep hitting land drops though. I don't think I can just get rid of a flame sweep. If that was like scry, not surveil, I would put it on the bottom, but I, I can't really just get rid of the card and take it out and put it in the graveyard. So this is like the one time that like, <laughs> this is like an example for like where surveil could hurt. I did play a, a decent amount of torrential gear hulk, scarab god type stuff, Grixis type stuff. No land drops for our opponent. We need land drops over here though too. Drake at one power is not enough. I want Island Cavalier please. 
Yeah, Champion of Wits was a cool card. I had some fun with God Pharaoh, uh, God Pharaoh statue. Is that the name of it? I had a really janky God Pharaoh statue deck with, uh, it was Jess guy that it was, the whole deck was like 20 bucks that I bought and put together that I'd play at like different like little events and stuff and just like it's just like a fun standard deck god pharaoh's gift there we, yeah god pharaoh's gift there we go not statue god pharaoh's gift and it was combustible gear hulk with god pharaoh's gift it's just all in it was like really good it was a really good one game deck couldn't couldn't win a, a cyborg game Ever. Man, this whole my Terramander doesn't die to my flame sweep thing. That's pretty cool. I'm I'm enjoying the my Terramander doesn't die to my flame sweep part of my deck right now. And it was a Jeskai deck, it was, I was playing the Black Gear Hulk as well, even though um, I didn't have any black mana. I guess I had a, a few ether hubs for black mana. The song is on hold by the XX. It should pop up here. There you go. The Black Gear Hulk was like Ravenous Chupacabra plus you gain life. Equal to the creature's toughness that you destroy. So it was my like removal and, and life gain and stuff. And then I had some Metalwork Colossus in the deck also. So I just had like some janky refurbish targets. Sometimes you just refurbish like a Metalwork Colossus. Yeah, and it had Menace too. It was a 5-4. Six mana with Menace. Uh, with this deck with NRP... I don't know what NRP is. What's NRP? Doing a main phase to pump the drakes. No price range. Oh. But any anyway, this this deck that we're playing is not one of the best decks in the format. But, however, it has been pretty impressive. I think, like, this deck with Blood Sun would be pretty nice. Two, four, six, eight. That gets eight zombies, right? No, four zombies. I'm just going to cast this card while we have mana. I don't really even care if I do counter it or not just you know pumps these things and everything they could be like using that for bait for another scape shift but that's fine yeah that is true there is no there's not really any decks that just five o's easily all the time because otherwise everybody would be playing it oh i did like regal caracal that's a that's a good printed card that was a good card yeah get a bunch of lifelink cats i'm all about lifelink cats Yeah, this one's looking great for us. The fact they didn't have Teferis, they just have a bunch of scape shifts. I can I can I mean flame sweep speed scape shifts. A lot easier when they don't just have like a whole bunch of Teferis, they're like bouncing my creatures and they keep ramping and stuff. And then I have to like only try to deal with those. So four, eight. If I shock them, it's thirteen. Shocking them does not kill them. Uh, 
Either Crackling Drake is still lethal with a shock. Anyway. Well, that was the best card they could have. Temple works pretty well with Cavalier. I don't think our deck would really be helped by Mending of Dominaria. Yud! Nine months. Thank you so much, Yud. And thanks for all the amazing thumbnails. And everything. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Yud. That gets us two. Gives us two subscribers away from our sub goal tonight. So I want to put two cards back that I don't really mind leaving. I guess it is shock. I should have just grabbed island. Alright, I regret not grabbing island. I mean, it helps that we drew another flame sweep and a fry, and we just drew other better cards than shock. I, I suppose a shock could be lethal. I suppose. Yeah, for our opponent's deck... It could it could definitely help our opponent's this deck. Isn't a fight you can win. They have less than twelve minutes? Huh, I didn't realize the match was going this long. Here goes nothing. Alright, fix this. I don't I don't think I really want Mu Yanling in this deck. You can tell I didn't I didn't include it. It wasn't something that I was really wanting. This, this is honestly looking really bad for us. They found like Teferi. Just slow, like, well, I, I mean, it was the time wipe, obviously. The time wipe wrecked us. But, like, this is the problem. It's like, we have to flame sweep, but then we don't get any pressure. I guess I don't have to flame sweep. I guess we're going to do this. Shock to fairy. Put that and that. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen.
Of course, that stupid thing's an 8 8. I'm one man away from just going like flame sweep, flame sweep, fry. Which isn't really even that good of an idea anyway. Man, I was feeling so good about this before that time wipe. I guess I need to play around time wipe. This is going to essentially kill me. I mean, I have to counter it. Three toughness. Why can't we have one more land? Hmm. Feeling a lot better about that game. Not that long ago. Yeah, that time I really did it. All right. Man, yeah, I thought we had that too. Uh, now we got to play a whole nother game against that Scape Shift deck that's so fun to play against. game here against that thing. All right, here we go. Game three. So we'll lead with Kefnep before Crackling Drake, of course. Not negating anything on turn two here. So why isn't every two color deck playing field as tech? You need you need seven different lands for field, so it's kind of it could be hard to find seven different land names to be putting in your in your deck. You can, you can do it with most all three color decks. Oh, Field of Ruin. Oh, yeah, that's that is an option. Field of Ruin. It. Yeah. <laughs> Not Field of the Dead. That makes sense. Um. Yeah, Field of Ruin is definitely an option. You know, like you have cards like Crackling Drake that you know make Field of the Ruin look pretty silly, but I 
Flame Sweep works so well. Like, that works so well with Kefnet, where it only costs one mana there. Still get to play Crackling Drake. I think we learned our lesson. I probably shouldn't play any more Crackling Drakes or anything because of Time Wipes. Looks like they're really looking for white mana, though, which is a good sign for us. This tie? It's just a, just a pretty normal red, white, blue stripe tie. So yeah, they're they're escape shifting, looking for white mana. Like that escape shift doesn't even get them any zombies, but they just they're just digging for white mana. So I should not play any more creatures. I would love a, a card draw spell here. You know, I'd love to hit. You know, drawn from dreams, whatever we have for card draw or planeswalker. Chandra or Ral. You know, we got the two Chandras, the one Ral. I'd love to hit those. Yeah, a counter spell wouldn't be bad either. They could have like Deputy of Detention here though, also for white mana. Or negate. May not get it completely done for us. Escape shift, get the one scry land, scry to the top. So this one was bottom, I guess, because they uh, just it's like this is a reasonable card, but it's not necessarily great. It's not one of my best draw steps. It could be really good with Kefnet. If they do have, I mean, well, I assume if they have Deputy, they're deputying the Kefnet. So I guess it's only really good if they have. I know my um, responsibility. Yeah, I guess it only would have been good if, like if they would have had Krasis. This is hardly my worst defeat. Stop. Talk about a card that's just amazing with time wipe. Ugh. Well, I feel really bad for putting that calf net back now that we just had another calf net on top. Fortunately, I, I'm one mana short of going Chandra. One man short of going Chandra, then. Um, flame sweep for backup. I don't really want to give my opponent a Chandra. Yeah, the trigger would still res resolve. I could have fried the Agent of Treachery and then. Try to just work through the calf net. Come on. Right on skin. Just have everything. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm 
I'm just dead. Just have scape sh they just have another scape shift. Uh... I have to find something here with this. I have to find like land plus shock. Nope. Or shock negate. Land shock or shock negate. Make another move. Oh, this duck's fun, fun to play against. All right, so both of our losses were to escape shift. Really hurts not having blood sun, that's for sure. Um, besides that, though, and yeah, so Chandra minus yeah, I could have played Chandra minus five, but I didn't have enough mana for flame sweep. So I, I'm still like Chandra. I'm still dead. Like I'm like Chandra doesn't win, but casting. The Cavalier meant maybe I could find Shock to help me stay alive. Ugh. But no, we were dead with the Chandra. Uh, not only we lost that, but that match took you know so long too. Ugh. Such a beating. Anyway, yeah. So definitely, if you you know if you want to be playing this deck, um, I would I would definitely recommend Bl Blood Suns. In the sideboard right now, um, and then of course, obviously, you know, you could upgrade Swiftwater Cliffs as well. But this this deck played really well, though. I I have to say that I was like really pleasantly surprised at how the deck played. Um, as far as you know, for a rotation proof deck and everything, you know, Crackling Drake, Kefnet, Cavalier were were really good. Thanks so much, Heaton. Um, you know, good good removal with those things was really good, for sure. Um, yeah, I would have to say I would have to say I was I was definitely uh, really impressed with the deck. I said sub number nine on the day, one away. It cost nine mana to play Chandra and Flame Sweep. We had eight mana. We could not play Chandra and then have Flame Sweep. Just we didn't have the mana for that. But yeah, it was a fun deck. So thumbs up there. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And of course, don't forget to check out the playlist with all the other rotation proof decks as well. But thanks for watching. Is it Wizards? Almost nailed it. Messed up. Thanks for watching. Is it Drake's? There we go. Is it Drake's here? And I'll see you for the next video.